Hello everybody and welcome back to Rule the Waves. Unfortunately, I just lost like three or four minutes of footage because my microphone was not working correctly, but that's okay. We weren't, we haven't really done any months, much, really very much, my bad. Um, I haven't actually processed any turns yet. All I've been doing is designing myself a new heavy cruiser here um, to replace these king classes. And I'm not going for, I, I think I, I think what I need to do is on some of my, my ships, I need to reduce their size to reduce the uh, the amount of money I'm spending on them so I can get more of them out there. And right now, I've got this guy set up pretty good right now. He's got eight 8-inch eight guns. Uh, let's see, we've, we're set up for 14 5-inch guns. We've got some AA. I, I can put more on there, though. Um, 30 knot speed, so it's rather zippy oil. I put the magazine box on there. Um, and uh, just to save weight, it means these guys are going to be a little squishy. But they're not going to be designed for, like, fleet combats. They're basically going to be either raiders or counter raiders. So I think what we're going to do is add on more of these. And a little bit more of that. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, ooh, rate of fire on the secondary guns. Can I do 6-inch guns? Without an issue? No. Four inch guns without an issue? No, I can't. Can I do singles hurts? No. They have to be casements still? Ooh. I don't love that. That is not ideal. Let's put on, like,. Yeah, let's put on eight six-inch guns in turrets. And let's increase our ammunition again. Spend the rest on a couple more AA guns. And I'm going to head and save that design. Boom. We also mothballed and reserved uh, portions of our fleet. I am going to go ahead and get rid of my old destroyers. People have told me I'm a little scrap happy, but I, I prefer to go lean and mean whenever possible. Hmm. I'm honestly not happy with any of my light cruisers. Insufficient ships on foreign station. Uh, I don't need much. that heavy cruiser on foreign station but a rebellion in midway support the rebels are these rebuilds oh god no they're not my bad I'm sorry I it's been a couple days since I recorded I forgot that I actually had a heavy cruiser already set up, um, but too late now. Uh, improved wet heater engine, so increased torpedo range and speed. Uh, build screen. Why don't we go ahead and lay down a pair of those? They're a little bit cheaper, so we can go ahead and get them down. Um, maybe use them for, for raiders. Propose a five-year security. Yes! Five-year security agreement with France. Let's do it. Germany and France. Uh, okay. So the Hertha class is heavier. Much heavier. Much, much, much heavier. A little bit faster. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, okay, let's see here. Everything's good on here. I've got a lot of destroyers. I could definitely use, uh, no, not design, um, build ship. Some more of these. Let's do another eight. Improvements in uh, productivity boost our industrial production. The Prince Heinrich has finished her work. Up. The Japanese government interested in buying the rights to torpedo production? No. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and do that because if we take a look at the map, I actually have a healthy colonial area uh, empire over here, which reminds me. Liaotung Peninsula and Tsingtao. Uh, I'm going to improve the, ba the base in Tsingtao uh, here. And let's take a look at our coastal fortifications. Uh, Port Arthur's got an airbase. Can we uh, expand that airbase? 
Naval Air Station, Hello, Truck Atoll. Leadership bases I'm gonna keep, and we're yeah, we're just gonna improve that and expand the base. Okay. So I'm, I apologies for the heavy cruiser thing. That's what happens when I uh, don't play for a couple days. I forget what was happening. During maneuvers, when our ship is open fire on a fishing boat belonging to Japan. Uh, yeah, let's raise tensions with Japan. Daihatsu barges improves invasion capabilities. Okay. I think that just increases the range in which you can do it at. Uh, I'm going to take all of the older destroyers. And I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna move those to Northeast Asia, along with the three Medusas, so that we have some stuff there. They're probably in midways. Continue. Oh, motor torpedo boats. Uh, yeah, that is actually going to be something I'm going to do. Motor torpedo boat squadron in. Oh my God. What I'm looking for is there. There we go. Rebels in Midway have defeated the U.S. forces. Midway has declared independence. Improved counter flooding, gradual damage control improvements. Nice. U.S. government offers sell its rights to four inch guns at quality one. Yes, I will take that. I do have those on my on some of my ships, I believe. I think. Uh, the Eagles could definitely use a refit. They're not bad ships. But I don't have any fleet carriers yet, and I only have two light carriers, so that's something I need to lay down as well. Maybe once this stuff's... Uh... Oh, you know what we could do? We could des design it. New Italian battleship. 38,000 tons. 12, 6... That is a ship and a half. That's impressive, actually, for Italy. Good armor. 12 16 inch guns. Like, no AA though. I don't like that. Let's go ahead and see if we. Des Why don't we lay down a design for an aircraft carrier? Graf Zeppelin. Not developed. Per oh, I don't have purpose built large aircraft carriers yet. Shoot. That's okay. Major firm wants to sell ships to a South American country. Good for the arms industry. Uh, yeah. Allow it. Oh, uh, fill out the air base in Port Arthur. Yes, please. Let's actually take a look at that air group. That's the only larger one. So we've got flying boats and torpedo bombers. Um, let's replace this one with fighters so that we actually have some fighters in Port Arthur. Someone told me I could scrap old models of planes to save money. But I don't see that as a thing anywhere. I think they automatically go obsolete. I don't think that's a thing. Offering sales rights to dual purpose mountings. Yes, I will take that. Oh, uh, something else I need to do. Increase the size of the docks again. I need to get up towards 40,000 tons. Motor torpedo boat, four corvettes. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's pop over here. Build fortifications, motor torpedo boat squadron. Germany. Let's do two of them in Germany. Those are really useful. Corvettes. New Italian battle cruiser. Six. Whoa. Okay, so they ba so this is still has good armor, 11 inch belt. Um, they sacrificed mostly the number of guns. So that is half as many as their battleship. These are good ship. Those are really good ships they're laying down. Can I build an air base? Honder, Kohlberg, Kiel, Emden. Tonder is where I want it. There we go. An air base in Tonder. That'll be really useful. 
Finished construction of an airbase in Germany. Let's go ahead and build that. The Russian government is interested in buying rights to double reduction years. That's fine. I don't mind the Russians. I'll, I, I could use the money, and I don't, I don't care about the Russians too much. All right, what about a rebuild on these? Is it is it worth is it worth it? Improved quality 14 inch guns. It's actually not that expensive considering it's rebuilding multiple battleships. Um Increase elevation on the guns. Oh, see there. Rebuilt that that there it is. I don't I honestly don't think it's worth it. It's got it would be really expensive. No. They cannot have range finders. Measurement company developed a medium bomber as a private venture. Yes. Let's bring that in. Air groups Tonder. Uh, Naval Air Station Tonder. Uh, uh I can't do that from here. I think do we have to do it from here? Expand base. Keel, expand that base too. Seven inch coastal bit. Well, these, like, a lot of these things aren't really that expensive. The airships I actually kind of like. They're good for scouts. Motor torpedo boats are done. Russian battleship. Uh, this looks like a rebuild. Look how small it is. No armor. Slow. Low tonnage, not that the guns aren't that big. It's like a pocket battleship. Got those two cruisers coming. Well, I mean, we went from basically no heavy cruisers to multiple heavy cruisers. Reduce engine HP requirements, nice. Anti-German rebellion broke out in Southwest Africa. Ooh, shell dies, yes. I think that reduces um, the penalty for multiple ships firing. Yes. So, South Africa, why don't we send some ship... Uh, let's send a... Um, let's send a heavy cruiser. And destroyer escort. Let's see, move ships to South Africa. Where is it on here? Is it West Africa? Pacific Pacific, uh, America, America, Caribbean. Must have been West Africa. Colonial crisis with Russia has arisen. You are asked for recommendations. What is my advice? Safeguard our interest even if it leads to war? Ah, it's Russia. I mean, I, I know I can beat them. Yay, there we go. We crushed the rebels in Southwest Africa. Floats idea of a shooting competition for all of our ships. He believes this will increase morale and combat readiness. Sure. The Mutant has won. Gradual improvement in armor quality. Naval Air Station kill has less aircraft than capacity. Improve. Improve. New medium bomber, the Messerschmitt 113, is ready for operational service. Underpowered and cumbersome, the aircraft acquired the nickname the Flying Brick. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? Torpedo bombers... Boats, scouts. Again, I'm going to switch these out to fighters. Change roll. I like having fighters in my air bases if possible. And we need to switch these out. Change roll. Fighter. Change roll. We need. They need fighter escorts. Or they're just going to get shot to pieces. Political murder in the Balkans. I mean, I, I'm always up for st stoking the fires of war. Okay, increase our docks again. We have some money now. Budget's going up. Costs are going down. The Molt K needs a better... Okay, there we go. Can we do the, the gun thing? Yeah, we can improve the 14-inch guns on the Molt-K. Coal-fired. Ugh. 
Not much I could do about that, though. Oh, my wife needs my help playing FTL. Hang on. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, my, my wife's playing uh, FTL right now, and she's trying to figure out how to play things. Okay, so this will reclassify this as a battleship. Which, uh, oil is now universally available. Uh, how much would that cost, though? To replace all the machinery? It's actually not that big of a difference. I mean, this is a huge rebuild, but this is... It's only a year. And this is kind of my one of my better ships. So that gives us 900 tons. Let's 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 add on like a a fair few of these. Can I am I allowed to do this? Uh, you can install additional secondary guns, but only in single mounts. So let's reduce the number of sixes. It's okay. Let's take off the tertiary guns. Or no, we could do... Can I do this? Yeah, there we go. Improve quality six-inch guns. Reduce the number of six-inch guns, but make them more effective. This is a huge rebuild on this ship. And give it more speed. Can increase the turret armor to 11 inches. Turret tops are tiny. Knock a little bit of that off. Let's go to just two inches on the secondary guns. Oh my god. It's a massive rebuild, but it only takes a year. And they're changing everything. They're ripping out the machinery. They're changing the secondary battery. They're changing the primary battery. They're adding AA guns. Increasing the armor. Hmm? There we go. Increasing, yeah, increasing the speed. Do it. We can afford it right now. U.S. medium bomber, the Republic Mars, has entered service. It's faster than ours. Well, they call ours the flying brick, don't they? Oh, you know, we do have those two cruisers under construction as well. First Bismarck. During a coronation review, there's been a collision between one of our ships and a ship from Italy. Well, Italy's a jerk, so... Eliminates rate of fire penalty for guns below 8 inches in turrets. Hmm. That's useful. Victoria Louise Commission. More efficient hull forms. Reduce engine requirements again. Improved airship performance. Alright, that gives me a lot of money to work with. I actually do have a bigger cruiser fleet now, which is great. So these guys got rebuilt in 1923. They basically just got rebuilt. And I'm thinking these guys I could just keep around as... I could do a, a small rebuild on them. I don't think that's... I don't think it's possible to do a small rebuild. Well, I mean... Eight months, it's 3,000. That gives me improved, uh, improved guns. Can I remove... Can I remove a turret? The aft centerline turret, can I delete that? I can. It has a, it has, it has a less than efficient uh, firing position. So I could take it off. And give it six 14-inch guns. Can definitely improve the speed of these. Add on a handful of anti-aircraft guns. Turret 
Director fire control. Six inch guns in casements. That should be fine now. Can I do doubles? Single mounts. Triples. I don't think you're allowed to do that. Increase the turret armor to 13 inches. Turret tops are already decent. Let's take some of the secondary off. This will actually make these ships perfectly usable for def definitely for Northern European action. Hmm. Nope. I can get up to 28 knots on these. Keep them fast. I think 10 6 inch guns should be fine. I don't. Can I. In, are you allowed to increase the number of firing positions? Hull form will not allow speeds higher than 26 knots. Okay, that's fine. So I can increase the number of firing positions. Uh, the, the fire control positions to 3. They'll increase its chance to hit. I think a dozen should a dozen six inch guns. We don't have dual purpose mountings yet. Got 14 inches on the turrets without an issue. Up to four inches on the turret tops. All right, they're anti late anti aircraft guns. Zero anti aircraft guns definitely means they need a rebuild. This. Time, time, though. Oh my god. I didn't even notice it was going to take that long. They're still good. They have torpedo protection. They've still got guns that'll work. Increase the number of shells. Hmm... Hmm? 20, yeah, there we go. Save it. Do it. One ship of wrong class. Oh, you know what? Um, are you somewhere else? Mothball? No, you're, you're the right class. Maybe we'll do that one later. That's okay. New Russian battlecruiser. Their ships are fast, but lightly armored. 1% um, weight savings on turrets. Let's... I mean, those are going to take a while. What we could do is wait for this one to finish, the Moltke, then put the other ones on there. That'll make them... And the Widow's Box just got rebuilt, so they're fine. They're perfectly fine. Motorboat Squadron in East Prussia. Build uh, an airbase in East Prussia as well. I don't think I have an airbase there. No, I have airbase Danzig. And, oh, no, I already, I already do. All right, uh, let's sort by class here. I think I, I uh, my problem with the game is I think I try to play too fast. I need to slow down a little. Uh, Danzig... No, that's an airship base in Danzig. Naval Air Station Kiel. Uh... Okay, I do need one of those. East Prussia. Air Base. Danzig. Do it. One of our major arms manufacturers wants to enter a technology sharing agreement uh, with a company in Italy. Uh, no. Sorry, I can't do that. The U.S. has stolen technology from us. The affair is uh, leaked to the press. I kind of don't want to fight the U.S. My prestige is bad. 
internal upheaval in South Korea. If we send an expeditionary force to restore order, there's a chance we could take it over as a colony. Someone must shoulder the burden. Japan acted faster than we. South Korea is now under their control. Ooh. We're gonna end up fighting Japan, aren't we? <laughs> oh, that's gonna be interesting. Let's see, force an area, thirty-four thousand. Germany's. I got three three light cruisers and thirteen destroyers. Base capacity of two thirty. Prove bases uh, in that area. We're gonna need more ships over there. Intelligence reports that the Russian Navy has a majority of their heavy ships on active status. Mobilize our, all of our reserve ships. <laughs> and we have an air base in Prussia now. Raise arm expenditures. Yes. Oh my god, what is this going to do? I, 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 I have high tensions with three nations. Japan has stolen technology and light forces. Strongest possible language. Oh man, that got close. That got close. Oh, say, we don't have any sh We don't really have any ships over there. Um, let's, let's deploy the fleet. Move ships to Northeast Asia. Go. It was a five-year... Yes! Hmm... Yes. Negotiate. Oh, failed. Germany and Russia are not a state of war. All right, but we're out of time. And all of my ships are not in the area. This is going to be interesting. Anywho, it's a convoy defense. So Russia's attacking one of our convoys. They have 10, 12 heavies here. I sent all mine over to Japan. I need to tell them to turn around. Anywho, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you've been enjoying it. I will see you all next time.